Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, good evening, guys. Welcome back to uh, Decography Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, it's your boy Deco Graphic. Uh, today I want to show you how you can make a very simple and uh, presentable birthday flyer on your Android smartphone using your PC lab as usual. So without wasting much of our time, I want us to get into this quickly. So the first thing to do is to determine the kind of uh, uh, size you want. This kind of a flyer, you can use any kind of variation. So just come here, set up the background size you want to use, which is a 120 by 120. You can use a custom size called square size. After gotten that, then the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, quickly go to the background. Then we change the background automatically to this color. You can use whatever color you want anyway. Then after that, you increase the size just as a little bit. But after selecting the shape, then you position it to the center. Let it be bigger than uh, this, or you maintain this aspect ratio. So after selecting that, what we're going to do next is to go to the shadow. Apply the shadow, then uh, the blur radius should be reduced anyway. Then we have uh, offsets. Let the offset go up a little bit to minus 13. Then let the offset X to be minus 24. Now click on this plus sign and you reduce, move this one towards the edge, uh, towards the center and move this towards the edge for us to be able to see how it look. So after that, position this towards that. Okay, perfect. Then we have our blur radius to be something like this. Then let's say we have our black to be something of this nature so that it will be somehow uh, okay. So we increase a little bit. Now we will now adjust this a little bit. Maybe we'll reduce the shadow. Well, we are going to adjust this a little bit. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So we can we can reduce the blurriness. So we just make it that uh, it's somehow uh, presentable. So we can make it this. Um, don't let it grow out. Let it come in a little bit. And this should be coming out a bit. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So after that, to make it a show very well, we are going to divide this into two. Turn on the grid, then you use it to measure. After measure, you reposition to the center, just as this. Then you are going to position it to the center. So after position to the center, you make sure that... Uh, you 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 are justified then send it to the back to make it uh, look uh, presentable then as you can see everything is actually plumb the way we actually want it so after that the next thing we're going to do is to divide this into two so after that we copy the color i mean select the shape then we'll go to the background we choose this particular background having this selecting here so that it's just uh, divide this then we are going to uh, just position a little bit let it come here but we use it to cover this particular area then we are going to bring it down a little bit to this particular area so after that has been selected we'll go back to uh we'll go back here we select the image you want to use so the image you want to use is just like this so after that, so after that, what we're going to do next is to just uh, make sure that uh, we centralize this. Just after position have it lock, then we tap on this. We use it to uh, set it up the way we actually want it. So after positioning that way, we look at the left hand side. Is it actually rhyme? Then we we'll shift it up a little bit. So that it's not showing. So the next thing we are going to do to the bottom to make sure everything is actually accurate, we go to the shape. Then we pick an half circle shape, just as uh, this. 
After picking that, you change the color. Then uh, we are going to rotate just as this. Then we go back to rate and uh, reduce the size a little bit. After the reduction, we use it to set anyway. If we actually, uh, if we actually rhyme with what we are doing, so uh, we rotate. After rotation, we can now check. Um, we send this to the back. okay so let it go under this so we can shift it up for us to be able to see how it look so we we'll have perfect stuff here okay cool so now we have the perfect something so now after that position that we have it locked so that our hand will not be touching it we we'll have everything been locked then we have this particular result then the next thing we're going to do is to just uh have this uh, move a little bit towards this direction okay have it move a bit we can still move it a bit Okay, then uh, we are going to bring this one towards this edge. And uh, we'll bring this one down. We'll send it to the back. Then we can bring it up a little bit to cover that particular area. Okay, after this has been done, we can now move this towards the edge. Okay, cool so we can bring it towards in now we we'll have uh, uh the accurate result then now uh, the next thing we're going to do is to just uh bring this one down a little bit so bring it down so that it's not cover or exceeding that area so we'll back this and have it lock so that we can be able to shift this one up a little bit to this particular area and everything is actually plumb, just as perfect as we want it. So after that, we can put in all our right up. Before that, we want to use an overlay image. Sorry. We'll go back to the gallery. We'll have an overlay image, which we are going to position around here to make it uh, look awesome. So position this here. So we we'll have to shift it back a little bit. Okay, perfect. So now we can lock it, lock everything. So we go to into our, uh, just put in happy, go to the font. Then which kind of a font? Let's use a paddock. We we'll have a paddock boot font. So we we'll have to change our color since we have a light background. Let's change it something deeper. Let's say happy. Then there should be a little space in between it. Okay, IP. This is our one to our key. This. Then we'll position it around there. Okay, cool. So after that, we have go to, let's say we copy, then we hear that. Let's say 28, yes, or you put any figure. Let's say 28 anyway, 28, yes. Okay. Then we use another different font entirely. So let's look at the font. Let's say we use a coder. We have a coda extra boot. Coda extra boot will be used here. Then we increase the size just as perfect as this. And we close the letters. I mean the alpha uh, uh the, the number, the figure. Then we'll follow the hierarchy by make sure that uh, these are in line. You can use a grid as a kind of a measure around this place. Let it rhyme with happy. So the letter H. So after that, we are going to or uh, adjust this manually by moving it towards this particular edge. Then uh, the size can still be reduced a little bit to make it uh, awesome. So, but we make sure that uh, everything is aligned properly. So after positioning it that way, the next thing we're going to do is to change the color to uh, this. Then we'll go to here and we'll put, uh, let's say TH, that is, uh, and we'll change the color to the swing TH of, uh, 28 birthday 
so we can shift it down a little bit anyway depend on how we actually want it so now this is cool then we can bring it down a little bit okay perfect perfect then we, we shouldn't allow this to to go far then we have this now we copy we have birthday then we can position that here so that we follow the normal principle protocol then we reduce the size actually perfect go into the gallery then you have this particular hair pin place around here as a kind of a, a demarcation then everything is actually plumb we can now um shift this back a little bit we like it so we can shift this back shift it to the middle okay shift it to the middle okay perfect then up baby should be shipped down a little bit the space shouldn't be much so we can now move the happy down a little bit to a little bit perfect then we can source this and bring it down here okay perfect okay perfect perfect so now that we have this result uh, we can go in with uh let back and uh, we, go, we go on with other things so arrangement really matter because spell out actually what uh, your design is all about after having this we can copy then we have a minister we have minister as you can see then we close the space in between those alphabets or we cancel then we are going to position that around uh, let position it around there follow the hierarchy properly so we have the minister here okay then we can put uh, by copy this particular font put gus or let's see guc um we got to the font area so the font we are going to use will be i mean the color will be gradient why the butter can be another color entirely let's say green color okay let's choose a green color so we choose a green color why the top one will be the color we have been using before so now we can cut it in so that uh, we have the perfect color combination so now we have this we can now spread this out to make sure that uh, we are not by hands and everything is actually justified so increase the size increase okay perfect so now that we have this being put done we can increase a bit or let's space it perfect so now that we have this result the next thing we can do is to just uh, have more live on uh, at and what okay more live on at and what so we have this anyway the next thing we're going to do is uh going to the font we want to use a parasin font so let's say we want to use a uh, parisian font parisian font will be the better one for this particular job so we come here then we change the color to black to make it uh, work perfect click on plus sign and you move this towards the hedge to make it more darker then we can now reduce the size and uh, we gauge where we are going to position it so i'm going to position it here but i want it to be more uh, uh a little bit more deeper so i will increase the size to a bare minimal level so after that the next thing i will just do is uh or let's say we have um, we we copy so then after copy we just have wishing you can see wishing you uh let's see wishing you the very best okay perfect 
So now we can position that on that here. Then we have the perfect result. Then looking at it, you can see we did a lot of amazing work here. But uh, what actually happened is at this side, we need to do some things because everything seems to be scattered around this particular area. So we have it on lacquer, then we lock uh, the previous one anyway. So now we can shift that to come down here so that we not spoil the overall shape. So we have here. Okay, okay. So looking at that should be able to work. Okay, guess it seemed to be cool like this after readjusting. So we make sure that you pay more attention to uh, cover up the mess and uh, make everything look uh, outright. So you can put this on top of that to cover any abnormality. So now that we have that dot uh, being dot, you can look at it that the edges sure the edge is not really sharp as we want it. So you can add the little shadow. So adding the shadow, reduce the blur, reduce, increase this, enable. Or uh, the offset Y should be increased a little bit. Click on plus sign and uh, you reduce to make it uh, somehow obvious. So we have the cool image now. Okay, perfect. But it's not as sharp as uh, we actually want it, but it's still somehow cool and we'll be able to see how we want it. So the GUC, let's just go into here. Then we have this uh, particular uh, color. Can we work where? Since it has nothing to do with this, we can go in here and bring a better um, light effect. So this should be able to contribute more to what we have designed than others. So we can have uh, something cool like this around this particular here. So reduce the size and uh, have it uh, placed around there. So very cool. So now the next thing we can do is to just, uh, you see, we we'll actually make uh, everything look uh, awesome. So the next thing I'm thinking we should do is to just uh, cover the or other mess around this particular area by going here and uh, you change the color so we are going to center it and uh, have it uh, position around here it's a cocoa okay perfect perfect then we look at it that uh, we actually uh, make sense with uh, all these and everything is actually cool and uh, plum anyway and this is how you can just come up with a uh, baby flyer on your android smartphone using your pc lab many things you can make and uh, design with uh, your smartphone or just make sure you do your own research well or you learn from experts so after you are able to master out you can use all these tools. there's any kind of a design you cannot come up with as long as uh, you are actually trained on how you can use uh, all these tools one after the other and i believe from here we all learn something from here Please, if you are new to my channel, Endeavor, it's totally free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel with amazing video like this. And uh, nevertheless, as well, when you, if you are a subscriber as well, don't forget to hit the bell icon, share and comment so that the, uh, 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 the, that will be, have, have the energy and being encouraged to produce more content like this. Thanks for watching. I believe we'll learn something. As I said earlier, God bless you. Have your work been safe with Ultra and with PNG. Thanks once again.